Peter Sue. <laughs> He's gonna show his face. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, Bailey. Okay. Well, you know what? Like I said, if you if you have someone impersonating Etienne, she is gonna lose her channel and she's gonna get sued to where she doesn't have a pot to piss in. Because he he doesn't go. We have never Facebook. We've never Facebook lied each other. I'm not scared of my husband. He's not going up willingly, Bailey. I promise you. We've never Facebook lied each other when we've been on the phone ever. And we were together for ten years. Right? I'm gonna tell you right now. If you try to impersonate my husband, we know where Amber lives. We know where she lives. Yeah, she already said she was lying heartless. Hold on. Right. Right. If you pull somebody on panel, if you pull someone on panel trying to impersonate my husband, Amber, we have your address. We do. My husband has it. Do you understand that? Put somebody up. Yeah, there you go. Wait, hold on, I missed your thing. When did I say I was gonna send somebody? I said the DA was coming after her. If you don't know the DA's district attorney, I said I'm sending the DA after you. Snow White, are you really that ignorant? Did you do drugs? Do you not have a brain? Is something wrong with you? Is something wrong with you? I said I'm sending the DA after her. DA's district attorney. DA's district attorney. I'm sending the DA after her. District attorney. District attorney. Yeah, she already admitted that was a complete hoax. Mm -hmm. Right, but yesterday she said that she was talking to my husband. Yesterday she said that my husband was like communicating with her. Right, right. Right? Yesterday she said she was communicating with my husband, right? Why do I talk down to people? I talk down to idiots. Narrow, simple-minded idiots. That's who I talk down to. Now, Lacey, you're gonna be timed out. Lacey, every time you say something ugly, you're gonna be timed out. Do you know why? Because it's my channel and I have great mods. My channel is a bullyproof channel, and every time you open your fucking mouth and say next to something negative, you're gonna be timed out. I'm not gonna tell my mods to quit timing everyone out. If you're getting timed out, you're getting timed out for a reason. You're gonna get timed out. Every negative comment, every negative comment, you're getting timed out. Okay, I I think Jojo Jones needs a time out. Um, Young Widow, yeah, she's gone real life on me. My husband had nothing to do with this. She went real life. Yeah, Lacey Smith, time Lacey Smith up again. Bye, Lacey Smith, time around again. It is a non-bully channel. Every time you come at me and you try to, yes, yes, it is a non-bully channel. Every time you say something negative in here, you're getting a timeout. Can everybody remember how it started? Molly started this. Every time you say something negative, you're getting timed out. There's no negativity in my chat. Every time you say it, because I had enough last night, all of my mods know, all of my mods know to time all you little assholes out. How do you like that? Come at me, say something negative, and you're getting timed out. Right? Oopsie, oopsie. You can't come in here, and you can't start shit here. You're not going to upset me. You're not going to do it. Right? Okay, time out to Penelope doing a great job. Who's that? All right, Brianna, time out. Time out. Anytime. Hey, man, that live. My... No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Your ex-husband, your dumb truck, you always say something negative. I don't say anything negative about my husband. I love my husband. I tell him every day. I love you, Etienne. We just couldn't get things right. I will love him until the day I die. I probably won't date anybody, but guess what? Guess what? Guess what? If I do start going out to dinner, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna love my husband. It just means I want to go out to dinner with somebody and have a conversation. Do you understand that? Even if I go out on a dinner date with somebody, it doesn't mean I still don't love him. Do you understand that? Yes, there is there is a director in, that from LA that I go out with. There's a director that I've had dinner with a few times. My husband knows that. Yeah, Molly started all of it because I busted up her little money making scheme. Adrian's just as responsible, right? I got 573 up in my chat. What y'all think about that? And I'm at 2,000 subscribers and my channel hasn't been up for two weeks yet. Hasn't been up for two weeks. You can't. That's okay. That's okay. Why do I say you slurs? Um, I was being sarcastic. Now, now. I was being sarcastic. Hey, my brown. Can I do a whole live stream without mentioning that? Mentioning it? Yeah, everybody give me some like congratulations emojis because I, uh, I hit 2,000 subs. I hit, it's because of y'all. It's not because of me. Thanks a lot for following my channel. I hit 2,000. I hit 2,000 subs in under two weeks. In like a week and a half. Yeah, um, had no idea about playing. I'm at 2,000.02 subscribers. That's not bad for under two weeks, guys. Yeah, I dropped my um, Amazon wishlist in my cash app since I have so many people in here, please. It's so funny. At first, you're never going to get 1,000 subscribers. You're never going to get 4,000, you know, viewing hours. And now, apparently, I'm not going to get them. Do garden streams? I don't have a garden. You don't want me to do a garden. But, you know, people are like, she'll never get a thousand. You know how hard it's going to be. She'll never get 1,000 subs. Um, She'll never, ever get 4,000 viewing hours. Why don't you use your real name, Marza? Um, because she doesn't want to. Why do you think, uh, why would she have to? And why are you doxing her? Um, silence. Okay, crazy. Crazy, you are crazy. Um, it shouldn't say 1430, it should say 1551 or 5150, as I'll say, right? All right, crazy, you got time out too. All right, Dancing Daisy, stop timing Dancing Daisy's out. Dancing Daisy, I'm just not giving you rent. 
I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, you're just not getting a rant. I'm sorry. No. All right, you know what? I've seen you in, like, Molly Go Lightly channels. I've seen you in Molly Go Lightly um, channels that hate me, and I'm just not ready to give you a rant. Why is it such a fucking big deal for you to have a rant? Why is it a big deal? Like, why is it a big deal for you to have a fucking rant? I mean, literally, just please, stop. Okay, then stop timing out Dancing Daisies. Thank you. Then stop timing out Dancing Daisies. Unless Dancing Daisies is saying anything to bully people or anything, don't time her out. I have a wish list, and if you look at my wish list, um, if you look at, hey, Kat, Katie, if you look at my wish list, it's actually, um, it was for you on my stage. I'm talking about me. Yeah, well, y'all can wait as much as you want for the bomb to explode, because it's not going to happen. Um, look, my ugly, disgusting finger. The one that I slammed into the door. Look. I slammed this into the door. Look, I slammed it into the door. Right? It's not going to fall off, because it's starting to grow out. See? It's starting to grow out. Everybody said it was going to fall off. No. It's not going to fall off. See? It's growing out. It's growing out. See? My disgusting, nasty finger. Look, Amber Turd. If you look at it really close, it has a smiley face on it. Look really close. Look really close. It has a smiley face on it. Do you see? Look, it has a smiley face. Can y'all see the smiley face on it? Isn't that funny? I slammed it in the door and it hurt, but look, there's actually... Can y'all see the smiley face on it? Look how the bruising works. No, it doesn't hurt. But look, can you see the white in it? Can you see the white in the slam? I even have a smiley face on my I even have a smiley face on my nasty fingernail. Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse fan, stop. Mickey Mouse fan, 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 Mickey Mouse fan. Am I driving nuts for repeating myself? Mickey Mouse fan, 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 Mickey Mouse fan. Is it driving me crazy? Because I'm repeating myself. Mickey Mouse fan, Mickey Mouse fan, Mickey Mouse fan, Mickey Mouse fan, Mickey Mouse fan. Is that driving me crazy? Is it 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 driving
Skip it. How did you hear that? Did you hear just not? Did you hear that tonight? You heard that tonight? Bullets on cocaine now too. Motherfucker, what are we gonna do? Did y'all hear that tonight? Did you hear that tonight? Bullets, I, I got bullets snorting cocaine too now. Jesus Christ. Jesus. She was going, arr, arr. she was showing me her toy. She was like, arr, arr, arr. ready? Ready? She was going, arr, arr. show me her toy. That's how she says, mommy, my toy. Ready? This is the worst thing. Yeah, she's going, arr, arr. mommy, my toy. Arr, arr. And she wags her tail and she twerks. But did you hear that snort? Did you hear that? That sneeze? Yeah. Too much cocaine for Bola. Here's the most scandalous thing about my house. Here it is. You ready? I don't have a back from my remote control. I don't have a back from my remote control. Do you know why? Bola ate it. Bola ate it. Clip me. I'm too poor to pay for a back for the direct TV remote. Clip it. Clip it. I say I'm so rich, everyone. Everyone, I say I'm so rich, but I don't have a back for my direct TV remote. Because Bola ate it. Oh no, clip that. I guess I should have rushed her to the vet. I should have rushed her to the vet because she could have died. No. When I went on vacation, she ate table books. Yeah, she sounds like a lion. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. Hold on. Come here, Lola. Where's your baby? Watch. Where's your baby? Come here. Come here, where's your baby? Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm seeing the camera. I said, where's your baby? 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 Get back so I can see. Where's your baby? Where's your baby? Where's your baby? Show me your baby. Show me your baby. Show me your baby. Where's your baby? 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 Where's
It's a documentary. If you were shot in a documentary, we see two VIP tickets hard. No, uh uh-uh, we didn't receive anything. No, we didn't, and I'm proof of it. I got emails about them from up. No, we didn't receive shit. We didn't get two VIP tickets. We didn't receive shit. We didn't receive anything because our tickets were already bought. No, we didn't receive shit. We didn't get anything, and they picked us. And I have the emails to prove that. I have the emails to prove that they wanted us, that they found us. And actually, it might be time that I can find it on Facebook to where they put a picture of us up of my husband and I cloud surfing and said, Do you know who these two people are? Right? They put the picture of us up, and all of a sudden my Facebook was like, bing, 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 I don't know where you got. You heard you got free VIP tickets. They gave people free VIP tickets, tickets to go to the premiere of the movie. They gave people free VIP tickets to go see the premiere of the movie after it was shot. That's really stupid. You don't know shit. And the hamster ball, you want to talk about the hamster balls, I will tell the story about the hamster balls on my next live, right? Because it is absolutely hilarious. It's absolutely amazing about the hamster balls. Yeah, it was a rumor. It was completely a rumor. Because literally, they took a picture of my husband and I, and I'll tell the whole story, but I'll just get into it a little bit with you soon. Um, my husband and I were watching um, The Offspring. Right, and that song, why don't they get a job? Right, was playing, and I looked at my husband. We were actually drunk at Rock on the Range, and I was like, "Baby, I want to surf you." And he's like, "What?" And I was like, "I want to surf you." He's like, "You want to crowd surf me?" I'm like, "Yeah, fuck it, let me try to crowd surf you." Right, and so I, he got up and surfed, and I jumped on top of him, and I surfed him. Right, and no one has ever done that. And so I can show that picture of our wedding anniversary, of, on our wedding invitations. The whole back of our wedding invitation was a great picture of me literally crowd surfing him. And people took a picture, and you can look that up on YouTube too. Um, it's it's called Offspring. Why don't you get a job? Rock on the Range. Right, and if you look at that and you watch the end of that song of that video, they actually had me on the big screen. Right. Um, it was on the big screen, and so you can look up The Offspring, Why Don't You Get a Job, Rock on the Range, right? So if you look at that video, you will see it was the first time I ever crowd surfed my husband. And they put the cameras on us and put us on the big screen. At the very end, I, was, I saw that I was on the big screen, and I smiled, and I did this to the cameras. So they took that picture, and they posted that on YouTube, uh, I mean, on Facebook, in um, a festival thing. And when they were shooting the documentary, they wanted us to do that. And they're like, hey, we, and I'll get to show you the email. And I was like, hey, we are filming this documentary, and we want to, like, film you and your husband's really crazy crowd surfing. Stunt. They didn't say the husband. They called my husband the board. Right? Yeah, it was awesome, Stone, because like we got the email and I can show you. They're like, they got in touch with me and they're like, hey, we're from this documentary and we're really impressed with your crowd surfing stunt. We'd like to get you and the board. Because I used to call it the board. I was like, yeah, you're my board, the board, the board, the board. And so the hamster balls, um, oh my yeah, the hamster balls, we had only surfed each other one time and then they were crowd surfing like, um, is that all I did? No, that's not all I did. Um, so anyway, so they wanted us to recreate this thing that we were drunk. Um, and we were like, fuck, we were drunk, we only did it one more time, we only did it once. So that was at Rock on the Range, and they wanted us to do it again the next year when they were filming the festival the thing. And so I was like, uh, we were kind of like drunk, we were doing it once, but people say I'm not, I wasn't a stunt double, yes, yes, I was retired stunt double. So we went to Welcome to Rockville, which is three weeks before Rock on the Range, but then they changed it to Sonic Temple. So for Stone Tower, and people were like, um, the picture, the black and white picture that Molly has of me doing this, like on top of my husband, that was our second go around, that was our practice go around before they shot. Which video did you watch, the, um, of me starting my husband, or the, um, you watched the, yeah, did you watch the one for Offspring? Yeah. Yes, I, when Molly said I was retired, right, I stopped working in the film industry in 16. So that black and white picture that Molly has on top of my husband with me doing this, I was crowd surfing him. That was our second practice for me on the movie because it was only the second time I've ever done it. Um, I have a very interesting life, but I don't brag about my shit. Um, anyway, so we wanted to top it because the crowd surfing thing, what am I wearing in the video? What video? You can't miss it. If you go to Offspring and you watch the Offspring video, um, at the very end, the cameras are literally on my husband and I and me surfing him. Um, I was wearing a pair of cargo shorts, gray cargo shorts, and um, tennis shoes. I had my, um, I'm trying to get tennis shoes, I know I had some gray cargo shorts on. I can go get the cargo shorts on. Um, yeah, rock on, offspring, rock on the range, but I get a job. It's at the very end of the video. I can go get the shorts if you don't believe it's me. And my hair's in a ponytail. Um, hang on a second. I'll go get the shorts if you don't believe it's me. If you really don't believe it's me. And let me see what shirt I have. If you tell me what shirt I had on, I'll go get the shirt on my thing. I think I had an old rock on the range shirt on. I think it was black. It was a black shirt because I always wear black shirts. But if you tell me which, where was it filmed? It was filmed at Rock on the Range in um, Columbus, Ohio. <laughs>
embarrassing. My name is Michelle Sabaté. My name is Etienne Sabaté, originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. We met in a bar. We retired from the Army after 20 years of service, and we decided to get married, so I moved to Georgia with him. Michelle is a riot. I love her to death. But the first time I met her, she was crowd surfing in a banana suit. It was a banana um, with dreadlocks and the Rasta hat. But she is a riot. She'll crowd walk and she like surfs on her husband. We decided to crowd surf with him surfing and me jump on top of him and I surfed him. It, it was not really planned. She just said, I want to surf you. And then I just, I didn't really know how to do it, but uh, we had to kind of tell people around us what we were doing uh, to get everybody in on it. You basically get chest and chest, and then we lift both of you. It kind of took some big folks to get me up. Yeah, I basically, I go up, and then she has, I have to pull her up on top of me, which kind of takes a minute. So when she serves me, I see her in the sky, and that's it. To people. It is such a rush when I get up there and I see the crowds. You're watching a human being. I gotta tell you, man, you know, crowd surfing has kind of gone to a whole new level. You know, we've uh, we've seen just about everything over the years. It's better than any drug that you could ever possibly do. Right now we're at the uh, Madfrey Stadium. So um, we smuggled two hamster balls in. Getting ready to do a hamster ball uh, fight to Godsman. Every year I've just decided to kick it up a notch. When I got in the ball, it was insane. It's a lot of fun for me to rush. See if I can drop, pick up my time or two, and see if we can make the crowd go crazy. It's gonna be epic. Seeing, you know, some person inside of this plastic ball that's rolling over the whole entire audience, I just thought to myself, like, oh, I want to be in that thing. That looks so fun. When I look down, there's like so many people screaming. I just came down and the security guards looked freaked out, just pointed and they unzipped me. just go crazy and and the adrenaline is there and when I look down the crowd went absolutely nuts because they've never seen anything like that. It was insane. <laughs>